Hello everybody and welcome once again to Survive with Blood Magic. This episode, since we've now got up to um, tier 5 altar, we can do a few more things. Uh, one of the things we can do is to actually do some more work with a living armour. So the first thing I'd like to do is to, um, well, empty out a uh, Tartaric Gem, because I want to upgrade the Tartaric Gem to start with. So let's start with that one, shall we? So the one I'd like to empty out is this one because I'd like to upgrade this one. If you look at the, um, the uses of this, um, probably probably the use of the nether stars easier. We can have a look across. We should be able to see uh, that we can upgrade this somewhere or other. Oh, it'll be in the forge, of course, yes. So with a um, Tartaric gem and another star, we will get a Grand Tartaric gem. I think it's the one, yes, the Grand Tartaric, Tartaric gem. So that's what we're going to do. And how much will do we need? We need 500 will, and with a minimum of 4,000. Ah, 4,000 is quite a lot, but we've got it. So let's get it out i've got in here first of all i've got will in it whenever whenever you upgrade these things it will basically reset it and you lose all the will so what i'm going to do is i'm going to I've created another common tartaric gem and i'm going to transfer the will from here into there so we'll do that first of all so all we have to do of course is put this the empty one in here and put the the full one in here and i have been trying to do this and you should see this increasing till it gets up to the 600 mark so we don't lose this will um, so we other need the other we need the other tartaric gem here with this has got 4011 it just enough but we could of course upgraded that one or filled it filled it up using the same process because we don't have to use tartaric gems here we can use uh, crystals as well will crystals that should be finished now not quite oops ah, of course you can't see it in there until it's em emptied out let's move this out of a hand here yeah, now it's got 617 in there. So now we can take the one out of here, put it into the Hellfire Forge. Uh, I need to put the full one in, the greater one in first, because I always go to first. You can't shift click this one in. You can sit, you can put the nether star in, no problem at all. Now this will actually then, it will be processed. It will drain out 400 will out of here, 500 will. So now we have this grand Tartaric gem. And of course the grand Tartaric gem, and I've got the wrong type of will in it so we're going to then transfer this will back again and make sure it actually got the right type of will that I want to have in it I want to have destructive will in here of course that'll empty out this one that but that's fine that's that's no problem whatsoever they don't mix you can't mix and match these things you see now it's going up so this grand Tartaric gem will hold I don't exactly know but a lot of will probably 16,000 I think so, or 16k of will That'll take a few seconds to charge up. While that's charging up, there's another signal I'd like to make. Uh, I've forgotten about this one. It's a really useful one. It's the, um, what's it called? Signal of something infinity, I think. I can't remember. Let's look at what the signal is, what we've got in here. Elementary is infinity. Uh, oh, something or other. I can't remember. Uh, it's quite an early one. Green Grove, Blood Lamp. Blood Lamp's great. This one here. Elementary affinity, elemental affinity, and this one basically gives you protection. And the recipe for this is we need a elementary affinity reagent, of course, which requires a water, a lava signal, and a, sorry, an air signal and a lava signal, and it's got obsidian, uh, one block of obsidian. In here, it requires 300 will, 30 will, but it'll use 30 will. So let's get that stuff organised. I've got the three. I've got the three sigils in here. Well, I haven't been using. I haven't been actually using the air sigil. It's actually quite a neat one. Um, let's have a quick demonstration of the air sigil before we actually use it to do something else. It basically allows flight. So if I right click this, it takes up here. I right click back down again. I don't take any fall damage. Well, it's difficult to tell if I'm taking fall damage at the moment because of the living armor. Um, as you can see, it's got, it's got on it. Um, which one is it now? soft fall fire which is maximum soft fall basically you don't take any damage but that that, that, that allows you to fly so that's a quite useful but obviously normally you take fall damage so let's make the reagent so it's basically a lava sigil a water sigil an air sigil and a piece of obsidian let's get this out of here now i don't want to use that will probably won't work with that will anyway so and a piece of obsidian it i think it does need standard is it's not working it does need just demon will for these things to work so let's put the 
greater one in here and get this to, to make it stuff you got to do it in the right order because it's now got less than that it's actually a lot less now what do we need i think we need an embedded slate for this one and we need some uh, arcane ashes let's get that done now this one gives you protection basically from fall damage it gives you protection from lava and it gives you protection from drowning i believe well we'll give it a quick test or some, one of the properties anyway <laughs> so we're at, down the down the goes the the ashes then the agent and i'm pretty certain it's a an imbued slate we'll just double check it i need another imbued slate let's have a look at the uses of this one uh let's be with this one i'm sorry is this imbued slate okay so you get this nice little animated logo here <laughs> and we should get our sickle this is something i should really have made a long time ago to be honest with you so if we now take off our armor let's take it off i don't need to throw it away do i so now if we take some fall damage let's go and do that deliberately so of course i'm now going slow and i can't jump up as high as i could before huh I don't have to do about four blocks up to do a little bit of fall damage. Here should do, shouldn't it? Let's jump off here. Yeah, taking a little bit of fall, not very much, but in that case. So let's now turn this on again <laughs> and do the same thing again. I know, a bit daft, but there we are. We don't need to die demonstrating this, do we? Is that probably one block too low? Let's go up to the next one up here. Then when we activate this one, so you right click it and then jump off no damage at all and the same with drowning so now if we get into the water and try to drown a bit the bubbles aren't going down so we have that protection as well which of course is uh, fantastic and the third one of course would be lava in fact I had a little lava accident a minute ago because I put some lava down and it uh, spread so let's just put some more lava down over here a bit um, I've got this one here so I just need to change this one to, to lava like that put down a bucket of lava there then walk into it you see and i'm not taking any damage which of course is great <laughs> so those are the three things that one we'll change this one back to void and we'll get rid of that because now it's making some stone as lava running onto water makes stone this is cool this is actually neat anyway so that's that sigil and so that's a very useful one. so that i basically can reuse this sigil instead of having other sigils in my uh, in here so that's what we're going to go and be doing next now there's one more thing I'd like to make um, and I need another um, imbued, ash, uh, imbued slate so if we look at the uses of this one you'll see we can make this the tomb of Pareta and the tomb of Pareta basically stores XP so I need two strings one enchanted book a couple of gold ingots and a must well actually it's a, just a master blood orb will do a magician's blood orb even um, some lapis so let's go and get that bits and pieces ready. I'll have to put some stuff back on, of course. Have we got enough space in here? Yes, I have. So I've got a book of holding here, which has got no use whatsoever in this pack. Let's just sort my inventory out. Let's put it there and then sort my inventory out. Then we can put all the four things at the bottom we want going. So we've got that one. I've also got some obsidian here, so we can make some obsidian stone pa um, path. Of stone path doesn't make sense, does it? So we needed uh, a block of lapis, two pieces of string, and two pieces of gold. I think that was what it is. A book of an, an enchanted book. Um, and what was the other thing? Here it is. Let's have a look. And just the two imbued slates. I think that's all we need. Now this one doesn't craft up automatically. You have to put it in manually. It's the book. I think it doesn't say what enchanted book it is. And maybe this is because it's not a vanilla book. Um, it's a CoFH book or enchant on the book it's a bit difficult oh yes i haven't seen this neither so i'll do that as well so at the moment i'm regening i'm not sure why i'm oh did i take some damage when i of course yes i did because when i put my arm took my arm off didn't i so now we can take this out of here like this uh it's going to be making some more stones but i wanted what well, actually what i want is an imbued slate so i've got plenty of imbued so let's take one of those out there and now i've got my crafting area just down here actually what you can hear if you can hear it that is the witches 
So let's get this in. So it's string slate gold. So at the orb at the bottom. So two string. Two two slate. Two gold. I think his lapis goes at the top and the book goes in there. And then we get this tumor preta like that. So we've got this tomb and this one stores XP. So I've got 42 XP on me at the moment. So what do we do? So we shift right click it like this. And it'll use up XP. And the XP will get stored into the book. So we can have a look at that. So I've put about, I don't know how many levels I've put in there. It says actually I've put 39 levels in there. Even though I had 42. It's sort of interesting because it's exponential, isn't it, XP? So now we've got 41 levels. So this is actually a good way of not using up too much XP when you when you've so now it's got our 42 levels in here, like that. And you want to get it back again, you just right click the book. So you can just get as much out as you want. So I'll have an, actually I do probably want one out. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, if you can hear it, there's a witch getting ground. What's been happening is, mobs come down here sometimes, especially witches, and they stay here. And when they stay here, I've set up a little bit of redstone here, which will teleport them, because here's a teleposer, to this area here. So in this cage of glass, I've got another teleposer. So the witches come in here. And then what I do is I trigger a lever on the bottom of it. Uh, I set it up and then trigger a lever. So let's go and have a look at that. I also upgraded this altar to tier 5. And where has it gone to here they are? As you can see, there's three, there's three witches, one here, one here, and one here. So they give me plenty of blood. There's another one actually um, at the top there. And that was for the um, the ritual of, of something souls. Which one was it? The Forsaken Souls, which is the second ritual here. But I don't think that's working desperately well because it's working, but not desperately well. So look, she's around here, isn't she? There she is, look, my blood just called. <laughs> so we've also got up here, as you may, a big hole. And it looks like, see, I didn't see this either. So go have a quick look at this. Now this was a technique. In fact, I'll just turn off my uh, magnetic signal of magnetism. And just have a look in the, in the chest up here. And you'll see it's actually expanded from the last time we had a look at this. And I'm getting ink sacks. And the reason I'm getting ink sacks is because of the... I can't get any space to move them out of here, but sort it out. Um, it's because of the water. And what's happening is that they're jumping down to their death. And then the, the, and they're getting picked up by the call of the Zephyr. So this here is just... It's quite smart how this works, isn't it? The mechanics of... Um, water in Minecraft. It's, here's, here's a couple of um, ink sacks which I can't pick up. If, if I put some stuff in here I might be able to put, pick those up. I've turned off my... There. Put those in there. So what happens is that you'll see it. Maybe, one, maybe we'll be lucky and see one. But they're usually falling down here. Uh, dying. And leaving their ink sacks. And sometimes ink sacks either the teaspoon if they're over here. Or they get picked up by this. Now, I did have one, oh, in fact, I think it's, yeah, I did have some dark spaces because I found some gunpowder in here in that chest. And the dark spaces, for plus F4, were on these two here. And so I used the signal of the blood lamp to light those up. Great tool, that one is. I don't know why I haven't been showing you that before. It's it's just great. So anyway, this, this process is working slowly. And as you can see, we've got a reasonable amount of demonic will up there, or different types of will up there into the chest. I don't think I need any for the time being. Let's have a look at it. I can take this one out of here now, can't I? Let's sort it out. You see, it's getting already nearly five stacks of stuff, hasn't it? Well, four stacks, anyway, of most of these bits. So the destructive wheels are the one I've been using quite frequently. And I've got another demonic crystal here. Let's put that back, away, back in there. So that works. But I don't think the, the the ritual of the Forsaken Soul is working as well as it should be. Was it the Gathering one? I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look at which one I'm talking about. It would be nice to know what I'm talking about sometimes, wouldn't it? Here we go. 
and I'm pretty sure it's called Soul, so let's have a look. Gathering of the Forsaken Souls, that's the one that speeds up the crystal growth, isn't it? Let's go back, because um, we're going to do a couple more rituals today. We're going to do this one, Ritual of the Cleansing Soul, which removes upgrades and downgrades from living armour. So let's go over to the other side and build that, and I'll see you over there. Right, I'm over here. Before we do this, let's just do this one. This is an imperfect ritual stone. The recipe for the imperfect ritual stone is relatively easy. Um, you can look it up. But if you put a block of um, coal on top of it, it will summon a, uh, a zombie. You, you put the block of coal on that and you right click this and then we get a tough zombie. So I'm going to right click it with um, something useful like an axe. And here we got a tough zombie. 20%. And he's on fire already. <laughs> and set me on fire. But of course I've got my signal of elementary affinity in there. The reason I wanted to do that is because I wanted to um, get some more. Look, see I've got fire resistance. That's because of this signal being on. I've actually got it also in the armour. So that's one thing we can do. Another thing, like you don't lose the you don't lose the, the coal either. That's The coal stays there. So you can quite happily do that and keep that in. Actually I brought the Arc Mage Blood Orb with me too. So you can break this and we get it back again so you don't lose that. You can put um, water on that and it creates a thunderstorm. And the same, I think the same with lapis. You can get fire protection if it's got bedrock. Of course you have to do that in nether unless you've got special mechanics in the pack to do stuff like this. So for instance if we do that one and right click it, it turns the day to night. <laughs> So we're suddenly at 11.30 at night. Great. Let's also have a quick sleep and get past night time. And if you put a block of water on it, source block of water, we simply right click the water the water um, signal on top of it, you'll get a, a not a thunderstorm, you'll get a, yeah, you'll get a thunderstorm. That's all. Right. So let's set up this next ritual. I'm going to set it up here. I think there's space. I'll put it around about here. This is another one of these ones which can be on the ground. So let's get the Master Ritual Stone put down here. I think this is, we'll put it down here. And then we'll put on, I'll probably have to remove a torch or two. So we've got the ritual set up in here. And we need 48 ruins for that. Oh, yes. Uh, sound, of the, sound of the Cleansing Soul. And then we can have a look here. You can see it, it's not too big, but I've got, no, I think we're okay. Let's come over this side and just check it's not in the way. I have to move it out of the way for the because I can't move the beacon. Hard to see. <laughs> I tell you what, we'll try it. In the worst case, is I have to break it down and start again. So, where do I have to be? Let's get on top of it. It's usually the best place. Keep right clicking until, we've, until it's ready. Let's have a look. I think we might not be okay. That's probably in a way. I guess let's have a look. I didn't count the stones, ritual stones before we started. Oh yes, that looks like reasonable. And we put the torch back, of course, because otherwise we might have a, a, a mob pr problem. We might even have a mob problem as it is. But where did my torches go to? Oh, there, 25. Press up four quickly just to make sure we've got no more problems. If there is one, there'll be one up here. But um, so that's it basically. Let's turn that off again. Don't like that so all the time. So what we now do is we take our activation crystal. I think the awaken we need an awakened activation crystal for this one. We can right click this like that, and that should be okay. So we're getting the message here. It's flowing through. I don't want to have that in my hand just in case. And then we stand on that. And I should have emptied out my inventory first, like I did last time when I was, when I was practicing this. <laughs> I don't know. I've actually got a, I've got a chest in here ready for that as well. So we'll just put this chest down and pick up the bits and pieces. I'm going to put all the don't need leaves. We'll just put that on like that. I should have got a rotting flesh in there as well. In fact, for that, let's just turn this on. So we make sure we pick up the bits and pieces as we get near them to them. Of course, I can only pick up one at a time because I've got no space. Brilliant. I think that we'll just put this down here. I keep doing, shift clicking those in. So now we have got, out of here, we've got, how many have we got? Nine and four, thir 
13 of what you've got. So we've actually got 13 different ones, living armor upgrade tombs. So this is the healthy one. That's a good one. We can apply that back again or we can train it. Step assist. Not 100% sure about this one. I quite like it. Um, I don't think it uses very much yet. armor upgrades. Well, maybe we'll do it. Dwarven might. That's for mining. That's actually quite handy. Quite like that one. Gift of Ignis. Well, that's fire protection. So we, we don't need that one. Soft fall. We've got the single elementary affinity. We don't need that neither. So tough palms. That's for self sacrifice. Maybe that's a good one to have. Poison resistance. That's always a good one to have, isn't it? Fear strike. That's when you're attacking. Solar power. Don't need that. That's basically regeneration in daylight. Strong legs. That lets me jump up high. So I'm going to quickly put these back into the armor. The way you put them back into the armor is you right click them like this. So upgrade acquired. So strong legs. So now we've got one upgrade in here. Poison resistance. And then we've got what have we got now? If I couldn't look very strong legs. Uh, and then fierce strike. And then what else have we got in here? So the part I didn't want that one. Quick feet. Yes, I like that one. Bodybuilder, not so bothered about, and neither experienced, to be honest with you. So we can take those off there. Now, if I want to, I'm just having a think now. This is actually maxed out. We'll put it on anyway, we'll say our upgrade. And then you can have a look at this. Now, one thing you look in here, it says shift, hold shift, and then for progress info. But you need to use the left hand shift for doing this one. And you can see here that we've got quick feet is up to. Uh, 70 of 100 strong legs is 57 fear strike is 25 and poison resistance is 33 so they, they've got spaces to go up uh, I think that I wanted to take out healthy from here and then we have the training bracelet so the next thing we have to do is make a um, an anvil I didn't bring the anvil with me I, it probably tends to break anyway but we should have plenty of iron about if I haven't got it in there, it's certainly there to be made. So anyway, I'll cook up this iron and these furnaces. That's got gold in it. That's half that. Take that other half of the gold out and I put the rest of those in there. I'm going to need a bit more coal. Well, I've got this block of coal in here, so let's just split that back up again. We can put that into there like that. And let those cook a bit because we need about 20. 31 don't we need pieces of iron to make um, to make a, um, an anvil so while we're doing while we're doing that let's have a look at the next ritual the next ritual is the penance one and I've got some space over here where I remove the old gate of the fold so that now I'm not sure what it's called of course I'm pretty hopeless at remembering these things so if we shift right click oh penance of the leaded souls the one we want now this is another one you can put on the ground and it's quite a big one it needs 153 ritual stones. That's okay. I've got I've got more than 53 ritual stones, so we're all right. So we should end up with something like seven when we finish doing this. So let's put it down here, and let's start to do it. There'll, there'll be a, definitely a torch in the way or two. So let's just get it. Now that's actually facing a different direction. So I'm facing north. So I want this one to go north. So left click it. Um, I was shift left clicking it, sorry, left click it, south, west, north. So then it sets it up in the direction I want to, I want it to be in. Again, I can stand on top of this, like that, and then do this. Have we done all 7, 41? So we've got some stuff in, oh, hold on, it's not 41, is it? 37, so something's in the way. Probably torches, let's remove the torches. I'm not sure which one it is at the moment. Maybe that one was the one I needed to. Maybe this one. Let's put those up and try again. As you can see, oh yes, you could just see it then. Yeah, we're going down a bit more. So how many ritual cells have we got? Did we say we needed seven so Still got five to go, I reckon. So it's not quite right. So what's upgrade acquired? What have upgrade have I picked up now? Oh, softball level one. Did I not apply these to my armor? I thought I picked up softfall. 
let's go and just get that out of the chest because that's oh no I don't need it do I because of the because of the other thing so what so what's missing in here maybe that one's a bit close maybe that one maybe that one I think that should should do it no nope. oh let's test it yeah so it is actually working <laughs> right to put down the torches back in I'm gonna have to press forward to put down the torches go to number nine which will be here so let's just put the torches back onto that one actually nine is here I can see it and there'll be a nine here and a nine in the middle here by the looks right yep because that's got eight on it and then there'll be a nine here and that should be the torches I put down of course it's you can see here there's one definitely lit up so we'll just put some torches down on top of that and that should clear make sure it's safe we don't want any mob spawning so now what we do with this one oops what have I just done oh have I just selected the wrong ritual oh, that was not smart <laughs> sorry about that oh I'll be back in a second when I fix this. Well, I know what I did. I, sh I did a shift left click in the air when I was trying to set the direction. Um, it's very stupid. But I've got the right number of ritual stones left over, so it's got the right time. I should have noticed that. I did notice that before, but I didn't know quite what I'd done. Anyway, so that's that. So the next thing we have to do is actually do something with this. Uh, here is the ritual, master ritual stone, and we've got three blocks at the back here. So what you do is you put a chest down on this block, and um, a frame here with the item you want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at one I've already set up. Of course, I, when I did that, I did all my <laughs> undid all my armor stuff again. I'm just going to put that back in again. So we've got. Uh, let's just upgrade all these. Those are the five I want, I think. I've still got soft four one on there, but I'm not too bothered about that. So how many actually how many upgrade points have we got in here? 170 out of 300 so we've got better space to do a bit of upgrading so what did i say we needed a chest and a, a frame so i've got a chest here and a frame and um the one i'm going to do is this one here it's called crippled arm where you've got a shield and a diamond i think that's all we need to do let's have a quick look at the recipe or the uses of this for example obviously you can enchant it but the ritual penance one here so if you have a chest uh, this is the chest here and this is the shield which goes in the frame and this will create a living armor downgrade and there's only one level of crippled armor i think i don't think you can get higher than that but you can actually click the uh, master ritual stone here and then you can look for the recipe for the penance so you know the uses of that as well and penance so you can see all the different things you can downgrade so, for example, this one here is Stormtrooper downgrade to one. I'm not. I can't remember exactly what Stormtrooper is. It's I think it's to do with shooting arrows. So that's two, three, four, and I think they go right up to level ten. Uh, no, for level five in this case, as you can see here, you've got five arrows, water breathing out any type of arrows in here. And the recipe for that you need lingering potion so you basically got to get some dragon's breath for that so it's not the easiest thing things to do so the one we're going to do is the crippled arm because I, I never use it in when i'm fighting i'm not very good at using the shield i don't even remember it's there to be honest with you so we put that the chest down there we put a diamond in the chest we put on the top here a picture frame and in the frame we put the shield ah oh, didn't work did it f to shift right click it on there and then that's done let me just activate this and then we should get in its place uh the downgrade tri tomb and i think if i just stand on this one and activate it it'll actually come straight into my armor so look before we do that let's have another quick look at the armor state 170 so downgrade it uh -huh. right click it and then you press shift on this i think when you're standing on it shift shift right click oh there we go shift right click it's downgraded so now we've got the downgrade and it should be on our armor let's have a look yes now we've got upgrade points of 20 of 200 so as you see it's made a big difference to our um to our upgrade points 
So that's what those are all about. And the higher level ones are very high. And there's a lot of, you have to really look it up on the, on the web for that. There's not that much information about this. So that's how we do the downgrades. Phew. It took me a while to figure that one out, I can tell you. The next thing we're going to do is here I've, I've changed this. I think last time we'd put in here some, some charging runes. So I've now filled this up with charging runes. I haven't done anything with these side yet. And here I've got um, displacement runes down here. The next thing I'm going to do is upgrade this. So I'm just going to basically replace six blocks on each end of these. They have to be in the cardinal directions with obsidian path. So first of all, let's craft up the obsidian path. Same thing as before, it's just four around here. This time we do need our major blood orb, so I did bring it with me. So we get this obsidian brick path. Sorry, all right. Take that up to there. So now we can start putting this down here. So before we do that, we'll have a quick look at the stats on this and we'll see what this, what changes. So here's the uh, signal, gives us all the useful information. So we've got plus 193 and 2679 tranquility. So if you remember that, and I'll just start to fill this and then I'll fill it, these in and I'll come back when we're all filled in. See in a second. That's the last one. So let's go and have a look now and see what's changed on this. So now her bonus is 218% and the tranquility has gone up a lot. You can get that up to 300%. So I guess I'm going to get do some more farming, put some more farming stuff around here. And we should get a higher percentage. Let's go and see how this affects the altar when we're here. So at the moment, if we look at the right, you can see the altar here. We've got 54,173 charged ruins at the bottom of this, as you can see. So now we can shift click the blood. We've got 32,000 in here. So let's get the dagger of self sacrifice out. Just a prick will suffice, as it says. Uh, and right click it. It's just about filled it up, hasn't it? So we've got 88,000. So that went up almost 55,000, which is fantastic. And I probably even picked up Tough Palms again. No, I haven't, but that's okay. The next thing. We can do our, of course we've got to eat a bit, the regen. I have actually got a regen ritual running on the other place. I can just go to that would be down below, wouldn't it? You can see just here, because of the quarrying, I guess it's made a few holes where the ores were. So anyway, let's get the iron out of here. We've got 32, that's enough. And I picked up some XP. Did that go into, didn't go into me. So it must have gone into the in straight into the book. Three eight eight. I didn't actually look at what experience we've got in here. So right now, so now we need the anvil. So we're going to make basically three of three blocks. Let's go at the top. A little T or upside down T of iron to make the anvil. And I think I've made a move. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be the first time, would it? Well, what I've forgotten to do, like this. So how much LP have we got in the network? Actually, we've used up quite a chunk as it happens. I'm not sure it should carry on working, and I think it probably all I've got to do is put down a chunk load to the, to the bottom and make sure it's being chunked, loaded. So, um, because I was basically using this. Oh no, I haven't looked. So there we go. Healthy five, and the training base that. So we just put these two in the anvil. Do you know, I couldn't figure this out. I had to go and watch Daniel Sun's video again. So we, are. So we basically put these two in. You get an enchantment cost of one, which we haven't got because I've forgotten to do that. I knew we needed some enchantment in here. Um, it says armor training bracelet, so we can make this healthy bracelet. Well, that's for the tool. I've got to get the I've got to get the XP back again, haven't I? Let's just do that. So right, right click it gives me the one XP I need to do this. And where's it gone to? That one there. So I don't know it's got all the information in there. That's what the healthy bracelet, we'll call it healthy bracelet just in case it doesn't exist ex healthy. And then we take it out of here. So now when we have this on us. It'll only increase healthy. Um, 
from what I believe. So at the moment, we've got none of the others will increase except for healthy. So we can basically use that. Now, how are we going to get healthy tested out? I can't remember how to test that healthy to be done honest with you. Hmm, I have to think about that one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Typical. Right, let's go back to the other side. You did notice that I did reprogram that one. Basically, here I've got a bit complicated mechanics with it in torch suppressing it. The other one was fast because I was using that. I was going to go downstairs, wasn't I? Just check what's going on down the bottom. So, next episode, what we'll be doing is I think it's time to go off to the end. Um, and have a go at fighting the ender dragon oh of course I haven't got the yes that's right I'm picking up these ethereal um, t slates at the moment they're not actually that useful as it happens let's have a quick look at the uses of these so the uses of this one basically it's for the top tier downgrade stone sword so that gives you a dull blade knight level 9 and I think there's a level 10 as well with another star deceased these are the top of the battle hungry these must be the top level all, all of these I think there's another page this will be the top one here with another star and two diamonds 10 as you can see so but th these ones that's the only use it's got it's just to do armor downgrades I suppose it makes sense. The other one had two damage, didn't it? So there we are. So I suppose next time we're going to also want to get take a load of bottles with us and see if we can get some of the. Uh, oh, it's noisy down here. I can't concentrate. I'll be honest with you. I just want to put this one. I just wanted to put this one away. Where has it gone to there? See, I've done it about five times, and I think I rechanged these again to update now because there's no problem with blood with the three witches. It'll make those just whenever you need them. I only able to remember to take out of this when I want to do that. Enough talk. So next time. Until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.